Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make a patchwork stocking. So if you're looking to turn this <laughs> into this, then keep on watching. So before we get started, I'm going to go over the supply list that you all need. If you hear some noise in the background, that's my dog Morton. He's chomping on his bone. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> Back to what you guys need. So you're going to need a pattern. This is a pattern that I purchased off of a store on Etsy. Um, I've used it for a couple of years now as my tried and true pattern. I will put that in the description box below. So what you need from here as a minimum, you'll need the stocking pattern piece and then the cuff pattern piece. You will also need an assortment of fabric. Uh, here I'm just using some scraps that I have from Christmas stockings that I've made over the last couple of years. If you don't have scraps, um, I would say you would probably need about a quarter of a yard per fabric that you want to use for your stocking. That should be enough to get you what you need. And then you're also going to need fabric for your lining and for your cuff. So I'm just going to use this plain green fabric. This is also a uh, leftover from previous stockings that I've made in the past. So once you've gathered your pattern pieces and your fabrics, go ahead and cut your fabrics into squares. Here I made mine two and a half by two and a half inches. And that's just because I have an acrylic ruler and that was the width of the ruler so it made it easy for me to cut. And then once you've cut all those pattern, or I'm sorry, all those squares out, go ahead and lay out your fabric for the pattern that you want to do for your patchwork. So this um, can take some trial and error depending on what size your stocking is going to be. I've already made a stocking, so I know that for the size that I want, um, six using quarter inch seam allowance, a six by seven square, or six across and seven down is the size um, that I need. <laughs> Alright, it looks like I've run out of uh, fabric <laughs> to go any further than this line. So, um, you guys understand what I'm trying to do here. You're just going to kind of lay out your fabric so you know what, how you want it to look. Alright, so once that is complete, you can go ahead and sew your rows together um, using a quarter inch seam allowance. So you're going to sew this row together. Okay, and then you'll sew this one, and then once those two are done, you'll sew these two together. Then you can sew this row together, and then connect this one to that one. Um, so I've already done that, so let me show you what mine looks like. Oh, and you'll need to do that uh, for two squares. So this is the first one that I did. Um, I used one eighth of an inch seam allowance on this one, so I was able to just do five by six. So, you know, kind of play around with it. Um, put your pattern piece on top of it to make sure that you have enough space that will basically tell you um, if your square is big enough. So when you're sewing these rows together, I'm going to flip this over so you guys can see the back. You want to press your seams, um, let's do, <laughs> we'll do this one, so this is bigger seam allowance as you can probably see easier. You're going to want to press your seams in opposite directions. So what I mean is by like, um, you see this row, I've pressed the seams going this way, and then this row I pressed it going this way, and then just continued along um, till I reached the end. And that is because it makes it easier for your pattern or your fabric to nest together and keeps it from getting bulky. Okay, so I've made two squares already. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out my stocking. So we'll start with this one. Okay. 
Okay, so once you've cut your first uh, stocking piece, you want to take your other square that you've sewn together and then flip over your pattern piece. And you're doing this so that these um, become a mirror image of each other so you can sew right sides facing once we get to that part. So now we have two mirrored images of the patchwork. So we're gonna set these aside and then go ahead and cut out your lining using the same pattern piece as well as your cuff. So you'll need um, two lining and two from your cuff. So now that you've got everything cut out, you'll have two pieces for your cuff, two pieces for your lining, and two pieces for your, um, what is this called? <laughs> Main fabric. So this is all you need, and then you'll also need a strip of fabric for your loop. So I'm just going to um, take this piece right here. So once you have all of that cut, what you're going to do next is you are going to sew your main fabric right sides facing at a quarter of an inch seam allowance along this portion of your stocking, leaving the top open. And then you will also want to sew your cuff right sides facing along the long edge of the rectangle, also at a quarter inch seam allowance. And then you're going to sew your lining right sides facing quarter of an inch seam allowance also along the outer edge leaving the top open and then leaving a, a gap probably what would that be three inches open down here and that is because we're going to use this hole to turn the stocking uh, right side out and I'll show you what I mean uh, in the next clip. So I changed my mind <laughs> instead of I told you guys that I was going to just use like this scrap and then um, fold it in half and sew it to make a loop. I didn't like how that looked. So I went ahead <laughs> and made a different loop. I just took a scrap of the fabric. I cut it um, two inches wide by five inches long. Um, you can decide what you four inch. <laughs> Uh, the pattern doesn't say what size to make this, so you guys have um, creative freedom to choose whatever size you want to make your loop. So to create this loop, what I did was I folded it in half, and then I pressed it, and then I opened it back up, and then folded it um, in fourths. fourths. <laughs> so I took this, pressed it to the center, and then I took the top portion, pressed that to the center, so it looks like this, and then I just folded it over and then pressed it like this, and then sewed along here um, about an eighth of an inch, so it ended up looking like this. Okay, so I have my main fabric sewn together, I have my cuff sewn together. So what I did here was I sew sewed it right sides facing and then folded it, turned it back right side out and then folded it in half and pressed it. So this is the right side of the fabric. And then sewed the lining and here's what I meant by you want to leave a hole at the bottom. So you see how everything is like sewn around and then this hole is left here and I'll show you why. So the next thing that you want to do once you have all these things sewn together is you're going to want to clip the curves of your stocking 
for both the main fabric and the lining fabric. And then you're also going to want to trim down your seam allowance of the lining fabric so that it fits nicely into the main fabric. And be careful when you guys are snipping into the curves because you don't want to accidentally cut your stitches. One tip um, I'm going to share with you guys is I personally don't like to trim all the way around. What I like to do is stop where the opening starts and then clip it down and then go back up and start where the opening ends and I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, my camera, I guess, got too hot and turned off. <laughs> so I took that time to clean up my area real quick. Um, all right, enough about that. So what I did was I kind of left, let's see if I can show you guys here. See how I have, um, kind of looks like a little tab. I do that instead of trimming all the way around because it makes it easier for me to fold it um, in like this when I go to top stitch. Okay, so you should have your lining trimmed and clipped, your main fabric clipped around the curves, your cuff, and then, uh-oh, one second, <laughs> let me find my loop. Okay, and your loop. So now what you want to do is take your main fabric, fold it right side out, and you'll want to press this so it's nice and like crisp. And then you're going to take your cuff, also right side out, put it over your main fabric. And then you will take your loop and put it on the right side, kind of make a loop, and have all of these three things line up. And then you're going to, I like to baste all the way around before going into the next step. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. So all three of these have been basted together at the top. I did this at a little bit under a quarter of an inch just because that is the seam allowance and I want the stitching to be hidden. So now you're going to take your lining uh, right or <laughs> inside out and put your main stocking right side out into one another. Make sure that you get the loop tucked in there as well. I've actually had a couple stockings sewn where I've had the loop <laughs> not tucked in and it um, was like stuck on the inside of the stocking. Okay, so now that that's in there, you're going to stitch all along the top at a, um, all the way around at a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So we've sewn together the stocking. Now you're going to come in through this hole that I told you to leave earlier and you're going to pull it out through here. Be careful with this um, so you don't accidentally rip out any of your stitching. I have done that a few times, <laughs> uh, mainly because I was impatient. So just take your time and work it through. Okay, so. Uh-oh, you guys. <laughs> you remember how I told you? Oh, wait. No, I think this is right. Okay, that was close. I thought I sewed the loop inside the lining again after I told you guys not to do that, but we're safe. It's here. <laughs> All right, so this is what your stocking will look like. Go ahead and press your lining. And... While you are pressing it, you're going to want to take, let's see, how can I show this to you? 
um, take the hole and fold it under. So this is why I like putting, having that little extra fabric because it makes it easier to hold, like fold and press and hold without it being such a small amount of fabric. Um, I've burnt my fingers many times doing this before I decided not to make <laughs> that piece so small. Um, but yeah, so go ahead, you can press it and then you're going to top stitch here to close the hole in the stocking and then once that's done you can go ahead and stuff the lining back into your stocking and voila we have a patchwork stocking you guys super easy it's a great way to use up scraps um if you want you can get some like iron on letters and you know put them on here you can uh, I don't have an embroidery machine so one year I did a zigzag stitch and used that to put a name on the stocking um, the pattern comes with a bunch of options for applique that you can use um, so yeah get creative with it and have fun I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.